Stevenson gets the 21-3 win over Alvernia tonight at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, obviously the score is what it is, but what was your takeaway? The good, what were you happy about? What were you even disappointed by in a lopsided win? Well, I think we just got it done, you know what I mean? It's always um, kind of tough to come out. Alvernia's trying to build a program. They don't have a lot of guys, so I just thought we had to kind of do what we had to do. I thought we were very workmanlike. We got it done. We got a lot of guys into the game today, which is great. And uh, But, you know, now we just you know this is another game down. Now we just focus on next week uh, in those games. As we always just try to take one game at a time. But I don't think there's any one thing we did uh, great, but I don't think there's anything we did really bad either. Yeah, I hear you have a pretty big game coming up. Um, Coach, I, you brought up Gavin to chat with us tonight. I want to talk about both he and Darrell Curtis. There's this like California freshman connection that's kind of working with those guys. But in general, all of these, at the beginning of the season, we talked about all the many new faces you had offensively. How comfortable are you with where these guys are at this point into the year as you get into maybe the biggest game of the season? Well, you know, all the games are big. So, you know, it's because it's York it's in conference. But every game we play, Masai's a big one. Widener's a big one. Albright's a big one. So they're all big. But I think our, our freshmen are doing a great job learning. I think it hasn't been as easy for Gavin as he thought it would be. He had a good fall. And then I think he got kind of into the season. And things didn't come as easy. Now he's kind of getting used to how to play college across and be a starting attackman and what comes with that. And I think him and Darrell are both just learning every day and getting better every day what to do, where to be, how defenses are playing I'm adjusting to that so you know and, and it's but they're great they're great kids they get along really well and so we like those California kids we got four more coming next year so mm-hmm. we're really happy about that but I think those guys are just smart lacrosse players and we like smart lacrosse players and their and their lax heads they just love playing the game and so I think that works really well and I think their their teammates have really absorbed them and uh, like them and I think uh, all of our offensive guys do a great job just complimenting each other so that's what we really, we really do a great job I think offensively playing complimentary lacrosse building a pipeline from the west coast uh, I understand uh, not wanting to give it too much hype or too much but you know we all know the significance of this game on Wednesday what is it going to take the, the recent history has not been great what is it going to take in order to go there and get this win yeah, they've gotten us lately, but we got them a lot early. So you know, so you know, so it goes back and forth a little bit. But you know, they're a very good team, and I think we're a very good team. You know, it's be a battle. So whoever you know, faceoffs are going to be important. Goalie play always up the middle is going to be important. Ground balls and scoring tough goals. So you know, they got some really talented players. We'll be ready for, and they we have some talented players they're going to be ready for. So, but we got to do a really good job just understanding the basics and not over, not trying to be who we're not. And so if we can just stay within ourselves and play complimentary lacrosse like we've been doing. I think we'll be pretty successful. And obviously, winning faceoffs the way we've been winning faceoffs. Before I let you go, the ride tonight was kind of overwhelming how much of that was what, what you guys were doing and how happy have you been with the 10-man ride efforts? Well, I think we've done a good job all year. We've gotten better and better at that. It's something we've always done and will continue to do, but I think it really starts with the kind of our attack. Our attack has done a great job riding. You know, can't 10-man ride if you don't have an attack that rides. So I think they bought into that and done a really good job making it tough on teams, and that's what we want to do. Spend a lot of energy, have them clearing the ball, and that's why their defense gets a little more tired and then wear them down a little bit and we get more possessions. So we've done a good job you know, winning face off, scoring goals, or losing the ball, riding it and getting it back and putting a lot of pressures on team. The last five or six games, so we hope to continue to do that. Coach, always appreciate it. Congratulations. We'll see you next Saturday. Thank you very much.